What up, everyone? This is Bevan with Den of Geek. I am here at the San Diego Comic Con, the boys' Amazon premiere red carpet. I'm going to talk to all the boys and talk about some Spice Girl songs. And I'm so pumped for that. So let's go, shall we? I have not read the comic. Okay. So would you recommend people read it before watching it? Here's what you want to do with the comic. The comic book follows its own timeline, okay. and then the show wonderfully adapts it to a TV timeline. Okay. And so what you want to do is make sure that if you're going to enjoy the comic, it won't spoil the show for you. Okay. But definitely buy and read the comic. From Dynamite Comics, buy and read the comic. I mean, I'm a little biased being the artist and all. However, I, we believed in this project for a long time, and if you want to know from whence it came, you'll enjoy the comic as much as the show. If superheroes were real and they were part of our world, uh -huh. they would be awful people because they'd be as corrupted by celebrity and politics and money and corporations like as everything is. Even though there are superheroes, there are the boys, and the boys keep track of what they're doing and they get revenge for the little guy. Because the idea was, if they're throwing cars around and smashing buildings, people are going to get hurt. And the superheroes don't really think about that. Well, when, if they slip up, the boys come in and make sure that they are held accountable. We gotta talk about Billy. So I hear in the comic, he does have powers and in the show he does not, which, which creates an interesting obstacle. It's like, how do you take down Superman if you have no superpowers? Talk to well, me, Batman. Well, to me, that is one of the most compelling aspects of the show is like, how do you take people who have no powers and put them against the most powerful people in the world and uh -huh. take them down. Yeah. It's like, you know, a group of vigilantes is like the blue collar, everyday working man taking on the top 1%. How do you do that? And to me, that's why I did this show. Now, Mother's Milk is actually a really cool name. Where does that come from? Here, you know, in the show, I mean, in a way, I'm kind of the mother of the group in, in many ways. You know, I, I keep the group in line. I'm the moral compass of the group. And I try to make sure that they don't go batshit crazy trying to get this guy. This guy. I yes. heard you're a real prick. Yeah, Such right. a nice guy. Well, that depends on your point of view. See, I think I'm a pretty pretty well-balanced, nice guy. I mean, no, no one does anything because they think it's the wrong thing. Oh, no. Nobody ever thinks they're the bad Everyone guy. thinks they're doing the right thing. So, yeah, ostensibly it might look from the outside that I'm a complete fucking psychopath. But <laughs> from the inside, it just seems rational and normal. <laughs> you're just a lovable puppy on the inside. I'm a puppy that's just rolling on my back waiting for a tickle. That's all he wants. Did you read the comic? when you got hired for this role? I did, I did. Um, no, I didn't realize how much of the comic book would be in the series. And it's really, you know, a lot of people say, uh, you know, Chase or the Deep's uh, sexual harassment scene is a little too much maybe for the screen. But I think it's important because it happens in real life. And it um, Exactly, exactly. And then we deal with it afterwards um, with repercussions and, uh, you, you know, all of that. So um, it, I'm really thankful to be a part of a show that's relevant and talks about real issues. My superpower, Black Noir, like all the superheroes, is highly invulnerable. Okay. But I'm also a martial arts master. Oh, you can karate kick. I can karate kick and I can also cut people up with knives. Dark, but you have the Spice Girls. Yes, the I'm Spice Girls. I'm so excited. Are you a fan of Spice Girls? I am such a fan. I think Spice Girls was one of my favorite, my first concerts as a kid. Great, then I can ask you this question. Yes. Which Spice Girls song would your character be? Oh, God. We got If You Want to Be My Lover. We got Spice Up Your Life. Yeah. We got Two Become One. Oh, he's listening Yeah, all. you know, I, I, I got it. I got the catalog in the back of my mind. Go. Just list it through, baby. Spice Up Your Life. Spice Up Your spice Life. Up your life. Uh, I can picture Black Noir like cutting people up to that song. While he's cutting his just Yeah. Like, la, la, people of the world, spice up your life. Spice up your life. Oh. Set it to the left. Having a good time. Shake it to the right. Everyone in the field fine. Shake it to the front. Go around. Boom, boom, boom. And then you go, hi, see, yeah. Hold tight. Boom. Uh, I guess Frenchie's the, I don't know, the wild card of the bunch of the boys. He's kind of the teenager okay. of them all. He's, He's a teenager. Yeah, you know, going through puberty, puberty. and whatnot. Uh, but it's such a fun character to yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. French is crazy. It's great. You don't even know. You have to wait and see. I'm so excited for people to, you know, to get introduced to the, to the boys, to the show. It's a big deal. Congratulations. I'm looking forward to watching it because I Thank know you. nothing about it besides the trailer. So. It's going to be super fun. It's like 
edgy, shocking, crazy superhero show, but it's right. also really satirical about today's world, good characters. It's got a little something for everybody. I think people are going to love it.